Welcome to my channel and this is the quick review of Boyglander BF135. Berglander BF-135 was made in the late of 1970. This is also a clone of Rolay FX-35. It has 40mm F2.3. Color Escoparex was a licensed built sonar design. Its main difference from its Rolly brother apart from chrome penis what is lack of automatic flash exposure the lens is 40 millimeter f 2.3 sonar with five elements in four groups made under the license of car size Filter size is 46 by 0.75 mm. Focusing distance is from 1 meter or 3.5 feet to infinity. It has also program exposure from 1 over 6, 658 a second at f16 to 1 over 38 a second at f 2.3 it also has bulb mode aperture and shutter speed chosen is indicated by metering needle in the viewfinder if you can look at the viewfinder you will see there's a arrow the needle is like a going up and down the flashing is 1 over 38 a second support speed of uh, ISO is from uh, 25 to 400 ISO this is also powered by PX625 mercury battery or equivalent so I'm using uh, Varta EPX625 this is like a 1.5 volt the dimension is 112 by 71 by 32 millimeter weight is 355 grams from the top you will see the pin rewind knob hot shoe mount for accessories or plus bulb shutter release button or shutter button winding knob film counter window on the side or the back viewfinder back cover at the bottom you will see the battery compartment rewind button tripod mount to insert the battery you need a coin just follow the polarity so it's, it's also says here what kind of battery you're going to use so positive there so put the positive right there okay to load the film pull the rewind knob You, you also check the light seal if there is one here but uh, it doesn't have anything but I think it's not not going to leak the light so it's okay so we're going to put a Kodak or Konica 200 
of this rewind knob and then drop the film insert the film on the takeout spool line and make sure you align the sprocket Over. Continue advancing the film until you get onto frame number one. There you go, film number one. And then set the film speed. You, we put 200 so I'm going to adjust this by doing this here you go 200 then switch this to auto there's the index right there the black index make sure it is in auto you go cite your subject how to make a photo if you take the viewfinder meter should be a allowable exposure unless you're using a flash if the meter needle is within the red zone warning then available light is too poor attach the flash right here then adjust according to the aperture required focusing turn the focus ring so this is your focus ring until the split image is aligned so there's a like a if you look at the viewfinder there's a split image on the middle by turning this uh, focusing uh, dial you will see that the center image is moving make sure you align the image before you press the shutter to make sure that your photo is in proper exposure and one more thing it's, this is very important because I experienced this one before actually most of the time when holding the camera and you're ready to shoot make sure to double check that your lens cap is removed and also if you're holding horizontal make sure you don't cover the lens Otherwise, you, you will turn, you will get a blurry or not properly exposed photo. Self timer. Self timer is this one here. using a cable release button so this is the uh, cable release so attach this to your shutter release button here yeah. this is usually used in bulb mode or uh, low shutter speed 
you press this here you go again this is to avoid camera shake right here one more if you want to use bulb make sure you adjust this to bulb press this uh, lever and then there is an index there move to bulb okay. and then loosen this screw right here wind this and then press the shutter remote there as long as you're not touching the screw right here the aperture keeps opening the aperture keeps open this is usually used in night photography or long exposure and then if you want to close the shutter just press this again crank this make sure you put on a tripod this is bulb mode press again the shutter the shutter remains open let's say 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 that's how you use a bulb mode bulb mode and using the white trigger you can also do bulb mode like this but make sure your your camera is in a sturdy tripod and you also have a good hand that's not moving so you press the shutter then when you release there that's bulb mode rewind to rewind press the rewind button here I hear some clicks so I will not rewind all the way because this is my test roll this is my dummy film so to open there you go okay there and this is how you use a uh, Berglander BF135 
you have any question just write the comments below and if you want to visit my ebay ebay store links is under the description below so thank you again and see you on the next one